on the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Albies backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now that so bases are empty football. here with two gone. Oh. And that'll bring in the oh. Illinois State product, Paul DeYoung. Oh. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No, Set up sorry, away with the changeup, but it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Ball Just ball. inside, not by much. Two it's two and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Full count now. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Sliced hard on the ground. Freeman is up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Down in order. Welcome back. As the Braves look to get their bats going here in the third, and you can say they've really been trying to do that pretty much all year. One major factor in their struggles has been the strikeout. Entering the day, they have more strikeouts than any other team in the league, leading a member of the coaching staff to tell me, without a doubt, it's something we have to rectify. Strikeouts happen, but sometimes it feels like we're losing focus and just flailing up there, and that can't happen. That's something for us to keep an eye on with this club, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. First pitch of the no at-bat on its way. Sean Newcomb is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. The wind-up and the 0-1. One and one. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his Aye. eyes lit up at the plate. Well, I'll even a two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Waiting on deck is Nick Markakis. Oni pops it up. DeYoung waits on it. One away. The Stepping the up one, now, two. Nick Markakis. Yeah. Second trip to the plate oh, for him. He drew a leadoff walk in the home first. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. In the air, down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. 2-2 two, two now to Marquecas. Drilled to the right side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Up next for Atlanta, the left fielder, Adam. At the plate, Adam Duvall. And it's grounded just foul down the line. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. And there's ball 1. Runners on first with 1 down. Liner in there for a base hit. Dang. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving D Row. Both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good plan at the plate, a lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Freddie Freeman is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. Runners are at first and second with one away. 
And a half-hearted attempt that time as you broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Freddie Freeman becomes out number two this inning. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And it's gone. So a three-run shot to left center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's given the Braves a 4-2 to two lead. Wow, the pitching staff has to love this one, right? They were down one, and with one swing of the bat, they're up two. What a turnaround in this one. Here's Matt Joyce now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Now that's popped up. Molina has a play. And that retires the side. But the Braves do pick up three on the strength of this three-run home run. We played three full. It's now a 4-2 Atlanta lead. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Liner in there for a base hit. So the innings underway with the Cardinals getting their leadoff hitter on base. Now that no mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. No balls and a strike to count. Comes set and the 0-1. Bader has what you'd call elite speed. His legs are a big part of his game on both sides of the scorecard. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Throw over to the bag and the runner back in standing. We're in the fourth inning of a 4 2 ball game. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And again a throw, being especially careful here. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Just hung in there on that one. Chopper left side of the infield. Camargo brings it in and oh the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first. The third base, the other Boy, third there's a quality infield yeah. base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey that's why this is the pros back in the day that's a knock all day long but up here guys are making those plays at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. Now it's 2-0. Oh. 
Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. None out. Runners at first and second. And, ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Hit back up the middle. Albies scoops it up. There's one. On to Freeman. A double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. So a man at third here with two gone. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. step off here and make sure he doesn't have any ideas over there at third. Here's the signal from the dugout, so he'll take first here on the intentional walk, and that makes runners at the corners with two away. Number 52. Now at the plate, Michael Walker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You're facing the opposing pitcher, and you give up a two-out RBI. I got to believe he's contemplating retirement. A two-out knock given up to the opposing pitcher. Listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits, but you doubly hate to give up base hits to the opposing pitcher. Slow roller down the third baseline. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Braves lead. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now back, second baseman, Ozzie. Oh, and that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep, and this one is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number five on the year, and it's now six to three. You're going to get one fastball right down the middle, probably once or twice a game, and you cannot miss it. And he did not miss it. He roasted that pitch. 